Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 9. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 135 chapter 00, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet all. We're kind of going to summarize uh, what we've learned in this chapter about uh, data, formula inputs, formulas, and formatting. Here's a little problem. You are the payroll accountant at Rad Corp. The employees' names are Sue, Tom, Chen, and Sheila Don. The weekly payment roll amount for Sue is $750. For Tom, it is $800. Chin, it is $795. And Sheila Don, it is $825. The tax deduction rate is 7.95%. Use your new knowledge about Excel formulas, formatting, and cell references. Uh, you sell, use the cells below to make the necessary calculations to determine the tax for each employee. Now next chapter, or chapter one, we'll formally talk about word problems or ac application problems and we'll see our official steps. Here we're just going to take this data, put in the cells and make our calculations. All right. Oh, so we have some names. So I'm going to put uh, in this cell right here, I'm going to put names tab. And then it looks like we have some weekly uh, pay, and we'll learn in chapter uh, 5 that's called gross pay. I'm going to extend the column right there. That's a type of formatting. And, um, and then we're going to have amount, so weekly pay, no, no, weekly names, weekly pay, and then our tax deduction. Tab, tab, I'm going to increase the width here. And then I'm going to leave a little space. And then over here, I'm going to say uh, tax rate. Enter. I meant to go with there. All right, so I'm going to type in 7.95%. Now, we'll talk in great detail in chapter 3 about percent. But for this problem, I just want you to type it in straight. This is, in essence, formatting as we type. All right, so we see 7.9%. Now we're going to type our names. Enter, enter. Actually, let me show you a great trick here. Since we need uh, to enter some data here and then jump to the top and enter some data here, if you highlight the range in advance, you'll notice that there's something called the active cell. And as we go down, enter, 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 when it gets here, normally if it's not highlighted, it goes down. But because it's highlighted, it'll jump up here. Actually, we could do it. Yeah, let's do it that way. S-I-O-U-X, Sue, Tom. Chin, and then Sheila Dawn. Oh, I highlighted one too many. Oh, this will be, uh, how about total, and then enter. All right, so now i got to go back up and find uh, pay for Sue is 750. Enter 800. Enter Chin is 795. And then we have 825. And then uh, down here, we'll actually do a uh, sum function. Now, let's go ahead and highlight um, all of these in advance. All of these, we typed in some numbers. And over here, we're going to have dollars, too. So I'm just going to apply uh, either accounting, which has the fixed one on the outside, or currency. I kind of like currency. So I'm going to use Control-Shift-4. Come down here. Time down this one. Alt equals is our keyboard shortcut for auto sum. Tab. Now our tax deduction. OK, we learned in our last video there's relative and absolute. So relative and absolute, I'm going to say equals one cell to my left, times E4. And because when I copy the formula, I want this blue box to move each time, but I need this one locked with the cursor touching the cell reference, I hit F4. It puts the dollar signs in. Those are just arbitrary characters which say the column and row reference are locked. So no matter where I copy this, it's locked down on that cell. Control Enter. And then uh, I'm going to drag it down. Now I'm going to notice something. F2. Oh, those are relative cell references. So I can just copy this over. right? So I have my total for weekly pay, my total for deductions. Now I'm going to highlight this. So we did some data entry. We did a formula. We did a couple different formulas, right? Relative cell references in absolute. We did some number formatting. Now let's do some stylistic formatting. I'm just going to add some borders. Maybe a dark color there. And a light font. If you have a dark back color, you need a light font. 
Maybe over here, since this is like our tax rate, I'll make it red. Highlight here. And we did some number formatting as we type there again in chapter uh, three on percents. I'll have a whole video, nothing but uh, percentage number format. All right, uh, maybe we'll do one other thing. We'll highlight this, and in accounting, we want a little border at the, up here and a double, a double line border at the bottom here. So I'm going to uh, need borders. And I need format cell, so I'll do Control-1, not number alignment, font border. I draw my borders like this. I click the border I want. I click over here. I select a different border, and I click over here. Click OK. Notice the, all the inside lines, meaning those little ones right there, are going to remain thin. So are the outside too, but just the top and the bottom will get those special ones. I click over here to see my uh, fine work. Uh, and if I'm to remain consistent, uh, I'm going to change these green. However, if this was a report that you printed out, you wouldn't want it uh, green. Again, the green is just for us as we're learning to know that there is a formula there. These other ones are formula inputs. All right, that summarizes uh, our intro to Excel. If you scroll over, uh, since there's no homework in the textbook for uh, this I've added some homework problems and the way just like with our video projects whether we're doing them you're online and you're doing these following along and doing these projects or you're in the class doing them there'll always be an answer right and these homework problems also so solve it and then don't go look over here until until you're done trying to solve it because it's going to do no good just looking over here and copying it because then you don't really learn it and then on the test oh it'd be terrible so but the answers are there for you um, once you've attempted it to see. All right, uh, we'll see you next chapter.